Hello guys, I am going to be starting a new series on Photoshop tutorials and I'm going to be going over the basics and the higher the episode inside this series, the more difficult it is going to be compared to the previous ones. Okay, so let's get started. What I'm going to show you today is to is how to fix up a nice little cheeseburger right here. The tool that we're mainly going to be using today is the zoom tool. It's right here. And if you press Z, that is its shortcut. And you could just zoom in and out in between it right here. You're going to need to do use the hand tool, which allows you to move around the scene while you're zoomed in. And we're going to use the clone stamp tool, which is right here. And the way this works is that you hold alt you hold alt and it clones what you just put and it shows you what you're going to put on it for example if I put my clone right here by holding alt and then clicking down I'm going to put on whatever is over here or whatever this crosshair is going to be at and it's going to, I'm going to put it right there for example once I get on this burger I'm going to put the burger up here where my cursor is as you can see so which, what you want to start off with is I'm going to duplicate my layer my background layer so we can get a nice before and after kind of effect and uh, what I'm going to start off doing is going to get rid of uh, these these little cracks right here and like the, yeah, the cracks in the bun and then we are going to puff it up a bit enlarge it and then we're going to um, nicen up this some of these areas right here, the cheese, the ketchup, the, the gross stuff on here. And so, uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, also, a nice tool that um, I like, instead of go always going back to the hand tool, you can hold space and it automatically, temporarily lets you move around the scene. And then when you let go, it goes back to you, goes back to the tool that you were using. So that's just a nice little tip that I'll that uh, is pretty useful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my clone stamp tool, I'm going to hold Alt right next to it, and then just cover it over, try to make it look as natural as possible. And I will speed through this part, and uh, I'll see you after this is done. Okay, so I have finished here, and um, here's a quick before and after. As you can see, most of the cracks have gone. Right here is a little bit smudgy, and some so are some of the other parts, but it it looks better. Um, so now what I want to do is just clean up this little tiny part right here with the eraser tool, and I'll just oh not the eraser tool. I'll just take my brush and use my white brush. I'll just remove this here there we go I'm just kinda of fixing it up and I'll just go up here and this one this part right here has been pretty annoying and uh, now we could move on to um, the puffing it up a bit so what you wanna do is have your uh, top layer selected or the one that you wanna uh, puff up whatever you go to liquify and uh, plus this picture will be in the description if you want to use it for this tutorial and um, what you want to do is use this tool right here is the forward warp tool I'll just go over the other tools real quick here's the reconstruct tool and which just brings back what you have done for example if I do this I can go over the reconstruct tool and 
just bring that back to normal. Um, right here is the pucker tool, which kind of squeezes things, makes it smaller. This is the embulge tool, which kind of makes things bigger and more round. You can guess what this is mostly used for. Uh, here is this tool and just to mess stuff up. I don't know how you could possibly make this useful. Um, here is the hand tool and just move around. So yeah, I'm going to use this tool right here for a warp tool. And I'm just going to grab on the outsides and just make them a bit, th I'm going to make the bun a bit thicker and bigger. And be sure to have a nice large brush because if you have a small one it will make it look a bit unnatural and uh... okay so yeah I'm just gonna go over here I'm gonna go down here and slowly bring this one down you just want a tiny little difference you don't want to make it too big I could probably Make this one a bit nicer right here. And I could use the bulge tool a bit on these patties. And you don't you don't want to make it too unrealistic, but now you could press OK to return your result. And this is quite a difference. Um, also, you can take the marquee tool, and I'm just going to have this part right here just curve down a bit. I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Warp. I'm just going to warp that downward. I don't know how this could possibly... <laughs> no, that looks horrible. I'll just keep it like that. I don't really care. I just wanted to show you guys that tool. I'm just going to go over the stamp tool really quick. There we go. I don't know, that seems, that seems good enough. So yeah. This is like the basic idea of embulging a sandwich. And if you really wanted to, Um, you can create a new document, and, uh, actually, I'll do cancel first, and I'll, you have to make the size of your clipboard, it'll make, it'll be a lot easier. I'll make a new one, make it the clipboard size, oh yeah, I didn't copy, control C, and control N for new clipboard size I'll do that and then I will go over here's my new my newly customized layer I'll do control C control V move that right here and then I'll select this layer I'll select my inverse control C and control V and then I I'll I can move this right here and you can see the difference and if you possibly wanted to you could just go with your text not not your white text I like red text there we go coalition it's my favorite font I'll call this after There we go. Sorry. And yeah, you could do that. And uh, there's not really much of a difference because we didn't do much. 
But um, I'll pull up a picture of what McDonald's did, and I'll send you a link to their video, and it's pretty cool. I'll show this right here is something that McDonald's did, and as you can see, they brought it up to the studio. And I'll, again, I'll show you that picture, and they photoshopped it and did a bunch of stuff. Here's the original that they took right here, and here is the here's the other one, and they brought all the cheese and stuff up to the front, and um, they photoshopped some of the stuff. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this uh, Photoshop tutorial. Be sure to check out some of my other tutorials on Photoshop and check out uh, later on in the series what's going to come up. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.